I'll do the uh, non-public. Sure. Okay, I'm going to call this meeting to order uh, for the Dunbar Board Selectman meeting for Thursday, July 11th. We got all three selectmen present, town administrator, recording secretary present. We do not have uh, a video recorder. Um, it's, I understand it's a logistics issue of getting personnel here. So we're uh, not on the video tonight. Um, we have a short meeting tonight, so it shouldn't be, uh, it shouldn't be terribly uh, anything controversial. Um, I have old business. I have uh, minutes to approve, gentlemen, from two weeks ago. Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve the June 27th uh, regular Board of Selectmen's meeting minutes as amended. I'll second Bob's motion. Okay. And discussion. I just want to say for the recording secretary, he did a great job for not being here. Thank you. It really, really was. You, there was one portion that I thought um, there was a little discussion. Uh, we got to be careful. Dave had a discussion with the town clerk. There was some uh, kind of few, uh, would have been a one or two sentences we should have included next time. Okay. Uh, just, it didn't have any bearing at the end, but it was, uh, Dave pointed that out to me. Okay, gentlemen, any further discussion on the minutes? No. Nope. All in favor? Aye. 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 We have one non-public gentleman from last meeting. I'll make a motion to approve the non-public meeting minutes of June 27th, 2019. What time on those, Mike? It was, uh, time was 8, 8, 11 p.m. 8, 11. Second. Any discussion on those minutes? I thought they were pretty straightforward. Hearing no discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pop right here because you just sign that. And Bob will also do that. Sure. Okay, I'm going to open up for public comment. Uh, just please state your name. <laughs> please state your name and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, any, any for public comment? That's the first roll? No. Nope. You're on the agenda twice. Sir. Uh, Brian Pike, Tristoro. Um, just open to uh, ask if you guys might be able to take care of a tree. It's in the towns right away. It's towards the end of my property line with a neighbor. It's in my old, uh, it's in the time I was a kid. Okay. But um, it's dying. The branches have fallen left and right. It pulled some out of the road, put it on the side. I haven't cut up the branches yet and pulled them away. But, uh, is it is it in the uh, the right of way of the road? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Just yeah, past so your garage, Brian? Uh, no, no, it's towards uh, the, it's the, the other cell end. Side. Okay. Okay. Uh, we, I think we can have the road agent go down and take yeah, a look at it. There's, yeah. Well, he and I talked about them a couple of years ago, and there's two of them there. One is in really good shape; it's still nice and green, and the other one is dying and is hardly any green. And what green is is on my side of the stone wall, but the town on the town's stone wall on the town side in the road. Is um, it's all dead and the branches have fallen and whatnot. Okay. And before it becomes a, uh, a true hazard for anybody driving by. All right. I, I gentlemen, it to you the guys. consensus to sure. send the road agent down yeah. there? Sure. We'll have the road agent take a look at it and see what we can do. Appreciate that. Okay. Just uh, the address of your home? Two Crystal Road. Two Crystal. Okay. Number two. Just for the minutes. Well, actually, technically, it's the second piece of property, so I think it's actually four. Okay. <laughs> Can do. All right, I'm going to close public comment. And uh, Dave, if you give me a, uh, a donation. Yeah. I'll just give you a brief description of this donation first. Um, the KTFC A members and committee um, had talked with the neighbor Donna Dunn about spraying the barn foundation in the fog field. Mm -hmm. That's across from our property. Yep. And they want to spray that foundation to. Um, try and get some of the vegetation back on there. They're also going to do a little bit of brush cutting by hand, I think, uh, in between the spraying applications. But Don and Andy Dunn were nice enough to donate uh, this year's applications, which I understand could be up to four, four to five applications on that site. So I'd like to make a motion uh, per RSA 31, colon 95-B, Roman numeral 3, paragraph B, to accept the donation of 115560 from Don and Andy Dunn to purchase True Green Chemicals and application to manage the overgrowth of the foundation of the fog field. And this has been approved and I believe the contract has been signed by your committee, correct? Um, it's, 
They've been notified and, and okay. signed the contract. Yeah. Okay, great. That's it. And I'll second that. I don't, I, I don't have any discussion with that. And the hearing discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 And Lean, do you have the check? I will. Okay. It's a very generous donation by the Duns, and I wanted to should express our thanks to them. Yeah, yeah. Our appreciation. Yeah. <coughs> so <coughs> we'll deposit this into the Kenkanwit Town Forest. Yeah, and they savings. can make payments as they need to. And they can withdraw to. payments as they need to. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Do I this quickly? And just out of curiosity, just a question on point. Yeah. Um, you gonna have herbicide applied? Town is. On that foundation only. Is it yeah. being done by a license? Yes, it's going to be done by a true, true Green Company. Okay, because I know in the state of New Hampshire, if you're a municipality, it's a state or a business, you can't do it. No, it's it has it's, to be done it's, by a applicator. True Green yeah. is, yeah, it's is right there. Cool. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, and we have. Did you get our appreciation? Thanks to the Duns. Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Just I'm pretty sure that's in the minutes. All right, now, come on up, sir. I understand we have a grant. We do. All right. Um, we're basically here for RSA. We're here to accept the grant for of 3504.98 for the First Responders Comprehensive Addiction and Recovery Act, FRC CARA. Right. Tell us, tell us about it. Sure. Uh, so we got this grant um, last year. We're still currently in that grant cycle uh, from last year. What this allowed us to do is increase first responder training related to opioid overdoses. Uh, we hosted a community event where we taught CPR and were able to pass out some free uh, nasal Narcan kits. Uh, one of our officers got certified as a recovery coach. So for individuals that are currently in recovery, if we have a police response there, he can kind of take more of a, uh, I guess, a social work angle instead of a law enforcement angle, uh, if appropriate. And it's also allowed us to reach out to some families in town um, that have family members or know people that are uh, struggling with addiction or in recovery and provide them with some resources as well. So, so this is a continuation of the grant. It's a, exactly. It's a federal grant trickled down to the states. Um, this particular grant is for the third and final year of the program. Um, and essentially the grant would sustain uh, the program and efforts that we put into place this year. Okay, great. Who's the officer that's contrained? Uh, Jason Patton. Jason Patton. Yeah, very good. Okay, um, do I have a motion, gentlemen? That to, I'll make a motion to accept the grant for 3504.98 for the First Responders Comprehensive Addiction and Recovery Act. I need a second. I'll second your motion, Mike. And all in favor? Any discussion on this? Any further discussion? No, I think it's great. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Don't go away. Yep, I'll be right here. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, next item, we have a review of quarterly expenses and revenues. Dean's got a spreadsheet here, I believe. Yep. Do I have two of them? Yeah. One, one is the revenues, and yep. one is the expenses. Expenses and covers. Which one are we going to start with, Mike? Mm -hmm. Um, Lean, I'm going to let you walk us talk, talk us through this. We'll okay. talk with the expenses, uh, uh, budget expenses first. Okay, so this is your uh, operating budget in detail, um, without detailed expenses, but the accounts in general. We, uh, I ran the report through. Um, it ends in what day? Through June. It would technically be uh, the last week of June. Okay. But where we're in the first week of July, the only way, they, this is a new, they did some updates in BMSI, and I'm not crazy about it, but um, in order for you to see the, the first column, last page, the total budget that was approved at town meeting, I had to run a report from January to December, because I noticed the first time I ran it, it showed a false number for total fund um, so it takes us through a little bit through into July. It, it's, we've got there. one week into July. So you'll see that some of them at 48% mm -hmm. is just pretty much one additional week of okay. payroll in that category. But for the most part, uh, when we get to the very bottom, we're still at 50, 56% to date. But obviously there are some departments that do not expend their funds until the um, later part of the year. Well, oh, some are going right along, though. Yep. Yeah. Um, that's a little ahead of schedule, 64%. Percent. Police department, 47%. Under, that's good. Yeah, that's good. 
And that's remaining what's there. Yeah, and so that's yeah. still in the high 40s. I like that. Well, we should be at 50% right now. True, but 47 is pretty close to me. Okay. <clears throat> Highway department still got a lot of reserve. Yep, and Jeff's usually pretty good about that. He is not, still has a lot of big projects in the highway paving. You can see that he's hardly spent any there. Um, he does reserve a lot of funding for road salt, winter contractors, that sand, that type right. of thing. So those are big numbers in there. Okay. I don't see anything that really stands out that's going to no. be. <clears throat> well, let us uh, um, have to take the opportunity for us to study, and if we have any questions, I can bring them bring up. Bring it back. Bring it yep. back next 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 meeting. Yep. Okay, David. Yep. That sounds great. And any, the second second one is any, any, any questions that you can see that no, top my head no, I don't top, see anything no. that really stands out. Um, and then the next one is our revenues. Again, in order to give you a true um, number of what we were anticipating to budget. Um, prior year revenues in column one, one and current year budget is in column three. So we are above 50% uh, right now. We're at, we have 48.7 remaining to collect for the remaining months. So I and think land use is right on target. That's good to see. Yeah, 50%. Mm -hmm. um, there are a few out there. Um, I'm not sure if it's because she hasn't exported it. But we're pretty close to where we should be for revenues. Um, again, you're not going to see the highway block grant come in until the end of the year. That should be 100% collected. Uh, flood control will be another one that's 100% collected. Um, rooms and meals is another one. So even those three numbers are close to 200, over $200,000 combined. So you can see that we are looking really good if we're at overall budget 48% remaining. No, I, I, Chief pointed something out to me, how um, the special duties become a revenue cent uh, center for him almost. And looking at what we, what we compared last year, 13 versus 9, uh, the first column is a year, a year to do? Uh, it's a full year. Full this year. Is, this is only half a so. year. Chief was right on spot on. He's collecting a lot more in uh, special duty pay. Flood control comes at the end of the year, Lee? Yes, it does. Yeah, those are big ticket items that come at the end of the year. Okay. Have a I'm sorry? That's if you have a budget. Oh. <laughs> now, wasn't there some additional state funding that's going to come available to us later on this year also? Not that I'm aware of, no. Nope. You didn't hear that? Nope. No. I thought that fell through. Didn't you hear about that at one point? Yeah. Actually, you have a letter there from the governor. Yeah. The money we were going to get yeah. is tied up in the new budget that he vetoed. Right. That, oh, great. We, we may know something in October, but I think we just don't plan on it. Yeah. 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 There's going to be some negotiations at the state level. That's one where we got that bridge and highway funding in October. Exactly. Okay. Uh, I reserve to ask questions to the gentleman. And just if you see any, I'll see any questions, we can bring them up at the next meeting again. Okay? Yeah. So we'll have to look at it all night. We're right on the mark, though. Oh, yeah, that's good. good. I appreciate you getting this out to us uh, yep. quarterly so we can keep tabs on things. Yep. Yep. Okay. It's important. All right, I'm going to go right to mailbox items. Um, gentlemen, if you haven't seen these, these are our uh, recon monthly reconciliations. These are for the first three months of the year. Um, I saw no issues with that. Uh, they need to require a signature. Uh, we still need to have um, uh, Hayden to come in. Matt Angel, yes, yeah. I plan on okay. scheduling him. And I'll come and go through these a little bit okay. more too. I've yep. learned a lot from him. He's uh, okay. very thorough. And okay, I'm going to go through the the inbox real quick. Mailbox items. We got a beautiful letter from the uh, from the governor. Basically, all his promises, but we don't have anything yet. It's uh, all up in limbo. I'll leave it at that. It seems that's a it's almost got a political slant to it. Um, one of the items we looked at, uh, we approved last year. I read it the same way. <laughs> one of the items we approved last year was the bathroom renovation at the um, mm -hmm. at the transfer station. Uh, we yeah. put some money aside. The contractor has defaulted on that, not defaulted, but basically, uh, not, cannot do it. So we asked, got another quote today from, uh, from someone else, and the quote came in very competitive. He just added a few more things for. Uh, 
for flooring. He felt that he felt it's going to cost a little bit more for flooring, but he felt vinyl plank is was probably not a good idea. I liked his uh, what he. Uh, he has deck over paint. It's a little bit more expensive, but I'm not talking about breaking the budget. Got to realize that we had uh, $2,400 and 23 cents already uh, encumbered. encumbered from last year. So we're talking about maybe another um, $1,300 plus maybe $200, met another uh, like $1,500 more. That's if you choose the, the vinyl plank. Correct. No, the uh, paint. The, the, the not... paint itself is only seven fifty. Okay. Let me give these to Bob and I'll review those with you. Yep. We got that list here. <clears throat> this this doesn't have to be signed, though, right? It does. It does. Oh, there you go. Okay. So he's. You he's, have the previous bid that. right there, right, Mike? Yes. What's two, the total cost there. on that? Twenty four, twenty three. And his total on here. It's going to be if you look at you got to look at three things. It's twenty three thirty plus uh, about two hundred dollars additional for a better fan. Okay, so sort of twenty five thirty, and then we have a decision to make on the back. The floor. The floor, which would be. Um, but the floor was included in the other. Floor. Right. At he, that number. Right, but he's doing a little bit. He's offering something a little bit different. Yeah, but he did. He offered vinyl plank, Mike, for thirteen hundred. Yeah. Right. And then he said the tile option was thirteen seventy five because he can get the right used or um, discontinued tile, tile at Home Depot, Depot for two dollars a square foot. So what we need to know is if that vinyl plank is in that twenty three, which I'm looking at right now, flooring install new vapor barrier install new commercial grade laminate flooring. It was supposed to be in here. Yeah, but I'm wondering if he just gave oh, us a well, breakdown okay, yeah, yeah. here, but it oh, is in the other one. Sort of I don't believe it is. That was something only because he, he put it separate because he doesn't recommend the vinyl plank. What he's recommending is something a little bit less costly, deck over paint, correct? Well, no, he recommended going, I think, with the tile. Tile, so tile right, 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 right. Tile or the uh, deck over paint. So that is really easy to clean, it fills in cracks, and you can scrub it. It doesn't wear out as quickly. Um, so we have three options, the vinyl, tile, or the deck over paint. Yeah. Did you see that now, Dave? I do. One, I, just, two, and three. I don't like that it's not included in this. Amount. No, he didn't. No, he did not. He kept it so separate. So it's realistically thirteen to $1,500 more than Correct. the Correct. Exactly. Two Spot on. If you read that bottom paragraph on the front page, it says that the um, vinyl planking is water resilient and scratch resistant, but it's not waterproof or scratch proof. So he said that it's a floating it's floor in the bathroom. Yeah, and it and it has a very small window of temperature that it works best in. And he asked Woody specifically, does it get cold in here or does it get really hot? And it does. So that's a, you know the reason why he's not recommending that vinyl plank stuff. I'm, I'm looking at the lower cost item there, just the tech over paint. Can't be replied in the future. What do you think? You're probably better off with that than the tile, because the tile at some point in time with the traffic, I mean, right. not that they use it a lot, but when they're going in and out of there, you know. What was the, uh, the, the vinyl plank price was? 24 23 No, the other one, there was two there, I think. That was just Mr. No, there's two a, there. There was a two. Yeah. They're both there. Yeah. Let me take a take a moment to find it. Oh, two, this was even less. This was um Yeah, he was gonna have commercial grade sheet vinyl flooring installed with underlying supply installed baseboard. It was 20, 2232. That was the last November. Bob, comments? Any? Well, no, I, I was going to say the vinyl plank, anyways, if there's a, a lot of change in temperature, the coefficient of expansion, it moving back and forth, when it warms up, it moves, that there's a resin underneath. 
and that resin leaks out. I, I know from experience. So I don't think that's a good option. It looks good when you first put it down in the summertime. It'll be nice. I'm okay with the deck over paint. Too. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think that's a better option. And and the two hundred dollars additional for that higher CFM fan, I think, is a good idea. Those cheaper fans just do not cut it and hold up; they just rattle. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So he did say he was going to inspect it if it passed and met the codes, because he's very he does a lot of work for other towns, mm -hmm. and some of the towns are very meticulous with their code enforcement, making sure everything complies. So he's very careful about what he installs. Uh, so he said if it if it meets the criteria, it won't need to be replaced. But he suspects from the sound of it and the look of it, it, it probably needs to be replaced. But we're, talk, be we're talking about nine hundred dollars. If you count the, uh, the 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 deck over paint, we're talking about nine hundred dollars over what we've already have committed. We know a little bit more, Mike. It's all over uh, over over that one. Yeah. Yeah, because so, this would be two seventy five. Correct. The installation. Correct. Two seventy five plus the seven fifty. The problem is it's such a small job, it's going to be hard to get many more people in there. Yeah, you're not going to get through. I'm sure that's why these two don't want to come back and do it. Yeah, I mean, I just think it was a little bit of some, I mean, not a bit, but he just, I'm happy with this one. So I think I told him. Time frame, he said he could get yes, in and do it. Very shortly. I mean, we put it off all last year, not yeah. getting it done because those guys didn't show up, so. Yeah. So uh, my total comes up to thirty-three twenty-five. No, then, no, no, no. With the uh, with with the seven fifty. Okay, with the seven fifty. Okay, and the two seventy-five. Two seventy-five and then twenty-three thirty. Right. Comes to thirty-three twenty-five. Oh, I did not. Yep, I did include the light if it needs to be replaced. And then you subtract twenty-four twenty-three from that. Yep. And that's how much more we're addition up from this year's dollars. Mm -hmm. $902. So we're asking for nine. Uh, I think that's reasonable. We might as well get it done. Yep. Uh, we have consensus, Jim? I think so. No. All right. Make it happen, Lee. Okay. Now, the uh, I also had him come through. No. They also had him come through my office to look at the things that we had brought up at joint loss. And um, we have a door that's in my office that sticks, and it doesn't stick just during the summer, it sticks during the winter as well. So it's definitely something that needs to be adjusted and they'll plane down so that we can open it properly if it is an emergency. Um, That's a rear door? Yeah, and yeah. that will also include adjusting our, our closers. closers because when he looked at them, he noticed, he, he said that they don't look old, they look similar to the one he installed at the uh, library and that one works extremely well, but he said there are three adjustments on it. So he'll look at all three and then make sure that the doors are closing properly so slowly and then whatnot because it's so with that and the fire department uh, fire department repairs. as well we went and looked at uh they need a grippable handrail to go down in the there's, basement there's no there's and walk down the stuff we there. decided and i checked with mike cummings to put the handrail on the left because there's a makeshift one on the right but it might be the way they might have installed it that way because they bring in a lot of big equipment so it doesn't quite go all the way down but there is room on the left to put a um, structure plus the hand grip on the left, which won't get in the way of bringing their equipment down. He can do the uh, leveling of the concrete too. And the leveling of the concrete. He's it's, got it's a, like a he's got a sander. It's like it's like a, almost a, a good push now, a three quarters of an inch almost, uh, three quarters of a half an inch, and Not, it's a trip yeah. hazard. Yeah. So for another five hundred and fifty dollars for those items. Yeah. I have no problem with that. I, that really falls in the realm of the town administrator. Good idea. Yeah, the um, she's just courtesy. This it is out. the gentleman that we reached out to to try to get him on someone on board for handyman things. Eventually, I won't be coming before the board to say, "Hey, I had to have something fixed." But this is giving us the opportunity to see what kind of work he does. He's done the library door. She's very pleased with it. Um, he's very professional. He wants to follow codes and whatnot. So. Very conscientious in that area. So I don't have a problem. Those items have been uh, on our joint loss. Yeah, so issues for a while. it's important to keep those joint loss items going. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Lee. Yes, you're welcome. All That's right. Progress. Okay, we have an update from the transfer station. Uh, just to let you know that there was a failure in the trash compactor uh, Wednesday evening. Uh, you all read this. Uh, 
took a little over a week to fix it. Yep. And so Woody's, uh, I think he's um, spot on with the, all the steps he's doing to uh, maybe a little bit of overtime, but he's um, he's doing the right stuff. So I'm, I was very pleased with his communication here. Yeah, I was as well. And he's bringing in a couple extra dumpsters. Uh, dumpsters. Mm -hmm. So he'll be able to swap them out and his crews, you know, watching everything going in there too to try and make sure. So. And for the record, I've been I've been watching his, the emails going back and forth between Lean and that. Uh, I have no idea. I think things yeah. are going smoothly with yeah. that. With him. And I well, am hearing too, and might have been one of you guys as well, but the public is saying that the place looks really good. The transfer station is really you know, clean. And Were you guys able to meet with that a new employee that wanted to? No, nope. no. He only just responded and. Okay. Um, it was a little too late. Yeah. So okay. I've asked him to get in touch with me and or Woody so we can schedule something. Okay. All right, gentlemen, there's a uh, proposal from the Concord for Home Town Heroes Banners. Um, I read it. I, I think we don't need I don't think we need this. Is it going to have our name on it or anything, Mike, or is it just another flag? It's not a flag. It's a whole, it's most, mainly for Concord. It's not going to have anything here. No. It's so I, I put that in. It's nice that they invited us, but we don't need to worry about that. All right, my favorite now. Uh, we get the monthly report from the town um, building department, and um, remember, recall last month uh, there was something on there was uh, it was a uh, they were involving the building the, um, the road agent going down inspecting the stuff and we were getting concerned because it was incomplete. This is information only. This is not for action. The thing is, if there's a problem in the building department, they will bring, surface a problem where we may have to be acting upon something. They will surface at the lean first. Lean will interject from the town manager point of view. If she can't solve it, it'll be brought to our attention. This is just an overview. Again, we can, we can talk to them indirectly, but uh, some of the stuff is incomplete, but it's work in progress. It's still working. You notice I didn't react, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I just want to make sure that uh, we understand that uh, anything you read on here, if you have got questions, we can ask them. But the thing is, we shouldn't get overly concerned on here because it hasn't reached a level right. of, um, of a crisis. It's a work in progress. I'm in agreement with that. Okay. And this is the first team that's been in that department that has provided the board with this type it's of It's nice to know what's it going on in very different projects. Helpful. Okay, we for, get calls from the public. For the public, what, what we're asking for, we ask for a monthly report of an overview of what's happening in the department. But sometimes we, we, we read too much into it because it's still a work in progress. It's still being worked and we think, oh, we have to do something about that. And so we're, we're taking a step backwards and they'll let us know. The department is, is if there's a problem, they're going to let us know. So we don't have to necessarily, necessarily uh, uh, jump into it every, every time we see something that's controversial. There is controversial stuff over there, but they're handling it. So I'll leave it at that. Okay. And... Sir, you're up again. Good. Talk to me. About a grant? Oh, no, that's... You just talked about... No, that's I know. The, uh, yep. <coughs> no, but this is uh, this is the same one? Yes. Yep. yep. Okay. Well, yeah, the next thing Don't go away. Public, so. um, then you take that fraction. I think I need to notarize it. Okay. okay. So, thank you. you. Can we get that done tonight so you can run with it? Tonight? Yeah, you yeah, I can. sign it, right? Uh, I think it's last page. I have the yes, there's, yes, yes, you have yes. to sign yep. the last page, yeah. We'll go back to <coughs> open up to the public. Yes, yeah. that page yeah. right there. Yeah. All right, I'm going to open up for public comment again. Brian Blastro. Yeah, um, grant for the uh, opioid thing like that, I think it's a, an outstanding idea. I'm glad that we got it, and I know some people personally that's been affected by it, and it was very well appreciated. Uh, the person who does the writing right is right here, so you is it's you're being acknowledged, sir. Thank you. So uh, my I, kudos to this gentleman because uh, the chief may be the chief, but the thing is uh, he's got a good secondhand man there. Anything else? For the, this is open public now. Okay. Um, I was notified by the Concord Monitor they're actually printing a story tomorrow about the portable speed sign. So I sent them some uh, data. They came out, took some pictures. I guess the reporter commutes on 13 every day. Saw the sign, <laughs> called up. What's 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 the deal with this? How did you acquire it? So, explain the grant process. I believe they reached out to Highway Safety as well on the state level. So there should be a, a nice story tomorrow, bringing some attention to the sign and what we're trying to accomplish with it. Very good. I think it's helpful coming over that hill because you know it's easy to come down into town going fast. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's even slowed me down a little, so. <laughs> Very well, little. I couldn't keep up with it. <laughs> <that. laughs> <laughs> okay. Any, okay, bring it back to the board. I'm going to talk with Lean. What do you have for the group? I don't have anything for you. I think I've got, got covered everything that I need to talk about during the meeting. Okay. okay. Dave, Bye, you? Margaret. Um, no, I'm just going to follow up with Jeff Trexler on the engineering for that um, library uh -huh. building yeah. structure and trying to. I did send him an email right after we talked about it and he hasn't. So I'll check with him. I'm sure he got busy again, but he, he was. Okay. He had promised to get through that, so I'm going to check with him on that. Okay, to Bob. Okay, I got two items. And again, and I talked to Lena about it, but I would hope you could reach out to Paul Moduleski again and ask him to get his lift and take a look at why we found slate, full slate, on the ground from the roof, because that wasn't there before. And, you know, we're getting closer to old home day coming up. You have people all around here. If the slate falls, I want him to know that he's got a responsibility. And that responsibility is even if the town is sued, the town is going to come back on him also. So. Didn't he have? Didn't he say back to us he was going to come in like the week of Fourth of July? A week after the Fourth. Okay. I read his email again. It was after uh, the Fourth. Okay. But Tomorrow's a week after the Fourth again. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I mean, it keeps getting pushed further down the road, and I understand they go out and do estimates, so they might want to service their customers. It's too bad we're not on tape because I don't have a problem with them hearing my concerns. So that's number one. And number two is only because there's a few people on that road now that are calling me is to find out from Jeff if he got the signs for Tenny Hill Road. He told me he'd have them either late last week or this week. And if he gets them to make sure he puts them up. The speed limit signs. Yeah, someone else took Leo's place as far as complaining. There's a couple of them. So. <laughs> we, can, uh, we can put the sign up there as well. But the thing is, road agent had it. He actually purchased it. Right. The um, the uh, portable speed sign. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that'd be interesting. Yeah. yeah. That's a twenty-five mile. Yep. You know, on that. Yeah. yeah In so fact, that, that would help for the first few weeks. Yeah. To no. We yeah. I'll add that to our list. Okay. And maybe uh, a few extra warnings for if yep. uh, maybe that could be traveled a little bit more. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, again, I I don't mind having a courtesy warning first time, second and third time. That's too bad. So no speed. I don't go down that road. Okay. We have. We gotta let them do their job. We can't start <coughs> That's too far out of the way. I guess those are the only two things right okay. now. Okay, uh, that's good, Bob. Uh, Lean, what do you have for the group? I think you've already asked yeah. me that. I'm good. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Lean, I will uh, make myself available if they get that scheduled. I, I plan on okay. contacting you. Okay. Yep. There was one thing uh, Lean didn't mention to us. Uh, the thing is um, regarding the. Um, uh, the road uh, improvement on um, Guinea Road. Guinea Road. Guinea Road. Yeah. Guinea Road. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's your road, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Too many roads, but the thing is, uh, I knew which one he was talking about. <laughs> I just want to make sure that uh, there was going to be a site review. The gentleman was going to come back if he wanted to improve that road, yeah. the section of the road. We we're going to do a walk through with the road agent, one selectman. And him and, it, and conservation. And it's conservation. So he did come in on Monday, right? And uh, at, he still what his really bottom line issue was that the cost. So we gave him a couple of names of excavators that work on roads that he could reach out to, and I recommended to him that when you get a, someone to commit to get you a quote, let us know, and we'll schedule the site walk so that the Mm -hmm. That person can join us in the site walk, and then they can know what the town's trying to communicate right. to him so it gets done the right way, and he gets the right quote, and he said that that would be fine. So he's got two or three um, names that he can call. I just want to make sure, uh, Lean will call on whoever selectman is available. So if you're available, she'll call on you first, you're, you're going to go, or Bob or myself. Yeah. It'll be yeah. any one of the three. Yeah. yeah. Based, based on availability. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, and... I think that was about it on that. And just one more thing. Okay. It's, uh, I guess Woody would like to have a volu uh, this volunteer work at the recycling center. 
but we don't know who it is yet. So I, you know, we should meet with them. Number one. Yeah, I actually thought you were going to meet with yeah. them before you get. Remember, we had to do the boots that. and the safety glasses and the gloves and, and all the that. The fact that they don't impact the workers' hours. Right. That was all going to be on. That's one of them. And you know, and just so we know who it is, that's going to be covered under the town's insurance. Absolutely. And so he's going to meet with you. So I mean, uh, until we have a name of a person that we can sit and talk with, uh, I guess we're not moving on either person because I don't think the other guy looks like. He just responded to me in an email tonight. Yeah, I read the okay, email. He did. Yeah. yeah. I didn't see the email yet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's still a work in progress yeah. to be completed. Right. Okay, um, basically, essentially now I'd like to go into a recess because we're going to go to non-public for RSA 91 colon alpha dash 3, Roman number 2, paragraph C. Um, this is regarding, uh, sorry, Roman, if you'd be stay behind for that. Sure. Thank you. Take care. See you, Brian. Just, care, Brian. Brian, just hit the door on the way out, please. All right. Hit the door, please. Yeah. Thank you, sir. No problem. Another routine. <laughs> exactly. Walk. Oh, yeah. I'm going to shut this off. So. Uh, okay. I could go into non-public um, per that RSA I just mentioned. Kaminsky, yes. Null, yes. Martel, yes. Okay. Time is? 7.38. Thank you.